Hello. So the other day I posted a work in progress shot of the stylized stitching that I had going on for this uh, cape or robe. Um, and some people really liked it. And so I decided to record a little video demonstrating how this technique is achieved. It's pretty simple, uh, but it does require a little bit of busy work. So we're going to focus on this piece up here because I haven't gotten to it yet. And so I'm gonna hide other stuff and we're gonna focus on this. So all this does is use a extrusion mask and pretty much Damien standard and the deformation uh, tab. So what we are going to do is get our piece. We're going to check its points. It's 800,000. Uh, I feel like somewhere around at least 1 million is good, maybe 2 million, but this goes up to 3 with one more subdivision, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to take the, and, and you can just, you can paint on the mask manually yourself using the lasso tool or uh, mask pen, but if you want really, really crisp results, uh, you're probably better off like modeling the mask out, the masked area yourself and uh, using that. So what we need to do is take our mask subtool or mask mesh, and we're just going to merge it down. And hopefully make sure we have two separate polygroups, so easy selections. Uh, what we're going to do is then go to uh, Z plugin, and you're going to find intersection masker. We're going to click Create Intersection Mask. So give that a second to process it. It is 3 million points. There, done. When it says reading Go Z file, then that's probably when it's done. Uh, now that we're going, we have that, uh, you probably are wondering, oh, where's our mask? Well, we just switch over to this and hey, there's our masked area. Look how nice and crisp that is. So then we're going to go to modify topology. We're gonna to delete hidden. So now uh, our mask mesh is gone. Uh, and then we're going to go to edge loop, edge loop mask border. And there, now we have two separate polygroups along our uh, subtool here. So next, what I'm gonna do is go to deformation, hit click inflate, and inflate just by one. So that's all we really need. And I'm only just gonna do like one quick little sample bit here just to demonstrate. I'm not gonna do all the detailing in one go. But basically, uh, using Dame's, Damien Standard, we're just going to make our stitching. So copying the stitching pattern that I had for these little triangle pieces. Just gonna do that. Actually, let's have it go that way. And what the hell, I'll do the middle of this one as well, just to demonstrate. Actually, let me just double check what direction that I have that going in with the other piece. Okay, so small triangle. Um, if you're doing a lot of pieces, it's good to like just keep tabs of the particular style, direction, and like brush settings you are using for uh, your stitching. So I'm gonna quickly do that. And then in this case, we'll have these little V's going up the uh, middle triangle. So because this is mirrored, we can't really get the stitching right, but I'm just gonna finish it off here. And most stitching will have this little zigzag pattern. So I'm just gonna do that. If I wanted to, I could, uh, in the UV mapping for the low res model, I could 
probably like half mirror this, so at least get that asymmetry in the middle, but not even sure if it's that it's really that worth it. So that should be good. Um, and this should be good enough to demonstrate uh, this whole technique. So I'm going to then go to deformation. We're going to hit inflate, and I'm going to go up by two this time. So it's a little, a little puffier. Then I'm just going to drag uh, uh, up the smooth deformation once or twice. I'll go with three times. Uh, and then I'm going to click uh, material channel, color. Uh, I'm going to select this gold matte cap because it's really nice. And I'm going to hit fill object. And that gives me a good look uh, for the sort of like nice gold thread style trimming. Go back to orb clay, clear that mask. And that's it. You zoom out, you get that nice threaded texture. It's not too detailed, but still detailed enough that you get a nice little shimmer. And it's as easy as that. It's a lot of busy work because then you have to you have to draw all these little strokes going around the whole thing. I'm not even doing the outside. I'm just doing the um, so I'm not doing the inside. I'm just doing the outside. Even like the underside, I'm not doing because I'm just going to mirror the top face under the bottom. But yeah, it's super easy. And gets great results, so I'm really happy with it. But yeah, that's really all there is to it.